Always keep uh, control of your nuts or bolt, just in case. Giggity giggity, giggity goo. Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. <laughs> Okie dokie, uh, a little bit far ahead. Uh, where was I up to? Snap bolts. The snap bolt. -er. Now, that's the bolt. That's the good bolt. You'll see how it um, tapers in, obviously, at the uh, at the first bit. But then it tapes in a second bit in that middle. That's actually where the bolt snapped. Now, the replacement ones were the same size all the way down, the large diameter. I really hope it's not an oil journal in there because uh, if it is I'm going to have to take all this apart again possibly depending on whether the oil is going to flow um, what else have I done? Torque wrench I'm not, I'm not a fan of torque, torque wrenches uh, all these were torqued up by hand um, with a ratchet I am a fan of ratchets socket and ratchet um, that's my uh, yeah, the size of my thing Crescent Tools, actually really good uh, American brand, um, lifetime guarantee, but uh, more importantly, when you're looking for a ratchet, listen to it. You hear it's kind of like metal, yeah, that's what you want to hear for, if you hear um, plasticky sort of gears, don't buy it, don't buy it. These are uh, these have been through heaps, and uh, they come in a nice little box, and I bought two of them. Anyway. Stopping the plug. One thing you do want to do when you're at this stage, you're putting your cams on. Um, cam lobes, obviously very important. Uh, in this case, when you're top dead centre, the lobes will face in. Um, I just went inside and I searched and searched all over the interwebby. Could not find anything as far as a picture of the bloody lobes in their top dead centre position. So, hopefully, next person that is stuck um, basically, your exhaust has just is just about to uh, go in, and your inlet has just finished. But in 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 a nutshell, they want to both face in, and the uh, the four cylinder both face out. So uh, in out, but also your timing marks here. And go away. Timing marks just here. You've got your in marker. And you've got your exhaust marker, 7YZX. There are other markers, but that's obviously different uh, models. Um, 600cc, blah, blah, blah. They do cross-use these uh, sprockets. Um, getting the cams on, you might have one side will be tensioned up. You want to really loosen off to the point where the, uh, the cam chain tensioner is basically off, you know out or off or as, as loose as you uh, have to get it um, what else do you need to know yeah everything's just placed here I nipped it all up basically so I could turn it over a couple of turns because uh, I wanted to do a dress rehearsal basically from the top dead center mark inside here you'll see a little T um, and there is an F1 and 4 so firing in the first and fourth cylinder um, but turn the motor over manually, watch your lobes, your cam lobes, as far as when they're uh, pushing down the cams, um, and just count it through, like, you know, ex um, suction, compression, or suction, basically, start again, fire, exhaust, uh, suck in some more fuel, compress it, and fire, exhaust, suck in some more fuel, fire, bang, 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 bang. Um, so, yeah, you want to count out. You know, we've just sucked in, it's compressed, it's just fired because the lobes are in uh, in between. Um, but then we've got our exhaust stroke, and then we're back up to our uh, inlet and compression stroke, ready for our um, top dead centre again, or the first, uh, first, cylinder, first cylinder firing. Now, really important, obviously I videoed this, so I had some footage to go back and reference. It took me a while to find it, as far as where the lobes f were facing, but I did find it. Now, photos, drawings, do whatever you need to do as far as, you know, this. Um, yeah, counting out where the uh, things were. 
exhaust inlet. Um, you could even draw on the box as far as, far as uh, what um, where the uh, cam position was, which I didn't do. Yeah, didn't write it down. But anyway, the more you write down, if it's weeks in between like it was with me, then you won't forget. Now, other thing when you're putting everything together, really, really, really important to lube. You want to lube everything. If you don't have uh, a high temp grease, something like a uh, mobile HP, uh, HP from memory is high performance. No, not high performance, but you know, HP. Uh, basically it's bearings. So that's a, that's a good one. It's going to mush itself out and mix in with the oil. better one you can use is uh, camshaft engine assembly lube. Much better to use. Smear it on everything. I've got it, I smeared it inside the caps and uh, the base of the, uh, of the cam lobes, uh, cam bearings, the cam itself on the bearing uh, surface, the lobes themselves, smear it everywhere. It's it's not going to hurt. Don't go overboard as far as the amount. Um, you don't need it on the teeth, that sort of thing. Um, but on the surfaces that do rub together, uh, you do want to put it all over there. So, and I even put some in the little sprocket here for the uh, for the um, uh, taco cable to run on. I also need to do this seal eventually. Hopefully it will come in the seal kit. But what I've done is I've put a little uh, O-ring on there, hopefully to seal it up for now. Um, top dead center has been checked. Everything's down uh, loosely. Basically we've got to, uh, I've got to take out every single nut and uh, and give it a, uh, a Loctite. But that was, uh, yeah, I only nipped everything up just to uh, give it its turnover and make sure it's working in the right order. Um, groovy. And obviously doing it by hand, you're also making sure that it's not going to lock up because if it, uh, you know, you put it all together, you go to your startup and then the piston comes up and the valve belts into the end of it, that's not healthy. I've actually had that happen before, but it wasn't my fault. It was the rotten, stupid mechanic that did the, uh, the tappets on it. They didn't do it properly. So, doing it at home, in some cases, is better than a mechanic doing it. Some cases, not all the cases. Anyway, we'll settle this down better. You want to get all the pins in, have it all lined up. And then just take it out one bolt at a time. Oh, crunch. Uh, pins in, pins in, pins in, pins in, pins could be better, like that. You want to do one side than the other too, you really don't want these to go on crooked, because the pins could go into their positions crooked and do some damage. So, yeah. Let's give it a nip up. Some, some motors. You'll have uh, these little rubber ends, which seal the uh, the ends. So those we're done with. Elastic gaskets. I've had this for ages. Haven't opened it, and all I needed was four little smears. So if you know any people that build motors, go around theirs and borrow their tubes. Because um, yeah, now that I've opened it and used it, I'm probably not going to use it in a long time. Don't need it for the top, top gasket. Don't need it for anywhere else in the motor. I could use it to form a gasket, but uh, I won't, depending on which level. Rocker cover's fine. Anything under rocker cover's not good. Just because, yeah, it's too, um, too much for it. Uh, what else? I'm not going to bore you. Actually, I will do one. I will do one. Turn the motor over so we can get to it. But how much should 
lock tight should you use. Make sure the threads are clean because they can upset the uh, the torque settings if you are going to do torque settings. So make sure your threads really clean and don't lose your nut or bolt. Cool. Now, oh, it's still open. Whoops. You only need a drop. That's it, just that much. Just a little bit. It'll thread itself around and lock itself on. Always, oh, it's in your bloody hand. Always put things on with your fingers first. A few threads. Then you can get the tool into it. Because you do want, don't, certainly don't want to uh, cross, -thread, cross thread things. fingers initially just so you know it's not cross-threaded now I know that's never going to come off but just for argument's sake oh, try and keep your work area clear <laughs> clean torque wrench which I don't like. Basically, starting off at zero. These manual ones I like because you can adjust them. Come on. Get on there. What the? Thank you. Oh, that felt weird. That felt weird. Not the old style anyway, with a needle the clickers might be okay, but um, the old style with a needle is very deceiving. Um, not sure if I've mentioned it already, but on every turning surface you want to use something like that camshaft and, and assembly lube underneath your caps, on your, um, on your lobes, everywhere. Everywhere. And before I button it up, I'm just going to tap a little bit of oil on there just to uh, oil it up. Yeah, that one bolt that I had an issue with. Apart from that, it's all ready to button up. Pretty much. Do they have locators. A little bit of carbon build up. Might as well get rid of it. 
record is that way. That's something you don't see much anymore. Made in Japan. It's a shame. The Japanese have very good with their quality. Groovy. Once again we consult the box. Oh, these are ugly. I need to paint these or something. As soon as I put them on, they're going to look terrible. I'm going to paint them. But what we will do is we'll use the same box. But we'll do it this way. Ready to paint. <coughs> Just in case I covered her in paint. Separate arrow. Now, some of them might want to clean first. Alright, things to remember in the motor. A. Take your time. B. Write everything down. Um... If you don't have a manual, I haven't actually worked with any manuals, I do not have a seven, uh, Z750 manual, but um, <coughs> I do have a few other manuals, and uh, I've been cross-referencing different manuals, as well as, as, well as Google, but uh, there's only so much an e-manual can tell you as far as... Uh, Trying to look at it properly. Alright, I'm gonna scruff up. Satin black. Oh, I don't think there's much left. It's gone. Now give it a try. I think that's it. I just gotta wait for those bolts. I can do other things, assemble other things. Plenty to do. Oh well, I'll do them and show you when I'm finished. <laughs> cool. Next time. And don't lose your nut. <laughs>